everybody and welcome this is back i haven't done a plan with me in such a long time it's been months and months and months so like what's better time to start again when i've got this wonderful kit from um pretty planner studio uh it's the planner uh, it's a planner wrapping pastel kit i also have the monochrome one as well the reason why I have this hot little kit in my hands is because I'm applying for the um, PR position through um, Pretty Planner Studio. I love Karen's work, so it's, it makes sense to apply. So firstly, I'll go through this awesome freebie that you other um, you get with this month's orders. So it's I love the happy little camper range and these are all her little hand doodles I think they're absolutely gorgeous so we'll go through the kit before I get started this is a jam pack kit it's literally got absolutely everything in it you could possibly think of I love it and I'm actually going to do it over two whole weeks so we've got um, the full boxes here And it says, be unique, plan a queen, make it happen, stick a mail, um, happy mail. I want to rep for planner, um, pretty planner studio, time to plan. Um, I can do it, all the pretty things and believe in me. And then she has two weeks of uh, um, days. And we've got um, the cute little glitter headers or washi strips. Then we've got some little headers here next week when I have time. Oh, beep. <laughs> and then we've got date dots here as well. Uh, then we have meal plan, top goals, zone clean, bathroom, kitchen, dining, uh, living space, bedrooms and other. Then we get another meal plan, gratitude. Another zone clean for the following week. Sorry about that. That was my bedroom door that shut. Uh, then we've got the, um, the water and trackers there and two habit trackers. Then we have day off. Then we have the little quarter box um, appointment. Birthday. Pamper time. Coffee date. Dinner date. Night out. Watching. Sub box payment, listening to and build you. And then you got some little deco stickers down there and some checklists. Then you got awesome um, deco stickers here, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. Then we have um, some more headers. Important to do today and today. And then the... Um, top and bottom washi strips I wish for the world uh, I wish for world peace and pretty planner things and then we've got the two weekends here then we have a side banner where it says follow me at and then I'll write where you follow me at um, then we've got some half boxes here event time um, discount code Orders, total received, event time and discount code, um, order and totals received. And then we've got our planner friends are the best friends, which is true. And that's the kit. So I'm so super excited um, to get started. I will apologize in advance. My naughty little kitten has, um, has got a bad habit of jumping up on my desk. So hopefully he won't annoy me too much. If he does, I'll have to kick him out. So let's get started. I always like to start with the top and bottom washies first. Just to, I think that's a really good starting point. I always mix it up a bit too. Sometimes I put um, this washi strip on the top and sometimes I do it on the bottom. I'm actually going to put it on the top today, I think. Um, I actually like it at the top on this planner. Oops. Perfect.
I'll add a picture up of my naughty little kitty at the end of um, at the end of this video. Has very is very fluffy ginger, aren't you, Sue? Not sure if you can hear him purring. He is five months old. He's getting the snippety snip. Um, <laughs> next month. He won't love me so much for a couple of days. <laughs> he certainly needs to be desexed though. He is the cheekiest little um he is the cheekiest little boy and he's got bad biting habits. So the reason why I actually stopped um doing my plan with knees and things like that is because we had like everybody in the nation has had a pretty crazy um, couple of months with this unexpected virus that has swept the world so which meant I pulled my children out of school on the 23rd of March and they only went back to school on the 25th of April I think it was don't quote me can't think of the top of my head but let me have a look. Let's stuff it down here. Oh, sorry, not April. It was May. Oh, my God. It was the 25th of... Um, it was the... Twenty fifth of May is when they went back to school. So, um, yeah. See, as you can tell, my I am all thrown out. <laughs> I don't. I can't remember what what month my kids went back to school after homeschooling. For those for that um, couple of months when they were home, it was just like a a massive big blur. Um, Never in my life did I ever think I was going to homeschool my children. Uh, my husband and my eldest son, who just turned 18 on Monday, they were very fortunate and they didn't lose their job. Um, my eldest son um, is an apprentice electrician and they did slow down, but they didn't, um, but they didn't have, my, my son didn't lose his job, which is amazing. So we we're very fortunate in our household that we weren't one of the ones that lost um, that lost their jobs. And I forgot to put the days of the week down. Now my kitten thinks I'm playing with them. I'm not playing with you. I'm going to have to pause this video and um, take him out because he is being way too cheeky and he's not leaving me alone. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So I'll sit the days of the week down and I'll, just, I'll go back to um, the story. It, I've got um, five children, if, um, if you haven't watched any of my videos before. Um, my eldest is, I've got six including my stepdaughter who is 18 and a half. Then my eldest son is, um, just turned 18 on Monday. Then I've got my other son who is, um, 10, turning 11 this year. My, 
um, other son who has, um, who's nine and my daughter, my only daughter, she is um, seven and a half. And then I've got my little baby toddler who is sleeping at the moment, Sebastian, and he is two. It was, um, it was a really, um, the, probably the hardest part about the homeschooling my kids was keeping, was trying to keep Sebastian, my toddler, entertained while the other, t while the other three did their schoolwork. Um, I actually enjoyed, um, homeschooling. I, I will never be a teacher and I can tell you this right now. I really honestly take my hat off to all those teachers out there. Like I've got next level respect for them, um, and all the hard work that they do. Um, and I'm, but I'm also very grateful that I could actually keep my children at home in this, um, terrible time as well so I suppose I, um, I'm grateful that I was able to do that as well um, which also by me keeping my children home uh, put a safe um, allowed a safe environment for the essential workers um, to go to work which I think is extremely important um, my children adapted to um, homeschooling life quite easily I feel as though I just got into the swing of things and got a plan in place and then they went back to school. <laughs> um, it's a really good though to be able to get back into normal routines. I'm starting to get back into planning, which is amazing because over, over those last couple of months, I honestly had missed it. I barely touched my planner, not, because, not only because there wasn't much on, but um, because we're in isolation because it was just mainly because I just didn't have the time. I honestly did not. It was just so busy and full on in this home. I had all these plans of spring cleaning, um, going through rooms and everything else, but I didn't get to do hardly anything because um, entertaining the children and um, homeschooling pretty much took up that entire time. There we go. Nothing, not ever in my whole entire parenting life I'd ever think that I was going to be homeschooling my kids. But I'm, it was a very different time. So what we'll do here is we'll pop down we'll do here is we'll do the full We'll do these half boxes here of the So what I'll do up here is where I'll do the heat um my water tracker and then I'll do I'll pop that up here. And stick this across here. I really like these little strips. Really super cool. I 100% need to remind myself to do these. And with the habit tracker, I'll be tracking um, my vitamins. And then I'll, after I finish this one, I will stick down um, the appointments I have. We don't have any birthdays. My son, um, I'm sure my birthday now in July. We get pretty jam um, packed with it, um, birthdays at this time. We've got my March, we've got my son on the 20 my nine-year-old son's on the 25th and then my toddler's on the um 5th of 
April and then we have a bit of a rest until May then on the 29th of May is my husband's birthday and then on the 8th of June is my um, eldest son's birthday so and then we have a bit of a break until my birthday in July which is always good and it's an even bigger break for my, um, for my other son who's turning 11 it's a beautiful day here um, today it was raining this morning which and raining pretty much on and off all night which I love I love the I love sleeping to the rain so it was really lovely and then I woke up this morning and it was still um, raining on and off and now the sun is out so it's um, warming up it's beautiful it's a beautiful warm winter's day today which I love okay so now I'll do the appointments that I've got on Monday Then I'm going to put a mark watching on Tuesday. Oops. There we go. Then we have. Wednesday our coffee date. Then we have our pop listening to. I put listening to on Friday because I actually like listening to um, different things when I'm cleaning. Then on, then we've got some bills due on Thursday, so I'll pop that down. Should no, not this week. The bit could use that. That's next week. Pop a blank one down there, cause just just in case I need to have something to drop down there, most likely. And then we've got pamper time. I always pamper, try and pamper myself on Saturday. Is my husband's home so it's usually when I wash my hair and things like that then I'll do a blank box for Sunday perfect oops wonderful So now I'm going to do, um, I'm going to pop one of these gorgeous little um, washi strip headers along the top up here. Stick this down up here. Okay. 
perfect. I absolutely love my Whistler and Birch. I am looking at getting, I'm currently got um, a sample pack coming in the study layout for my, to try out so I can get a, um, for my social media. I'm considering getting the mid, like July, August, um, July to June um, planner, but I'm not sure whether or not I'm actually going to do that as yet. I have to decide whether or not I like that layout, and if I do, then I will get it mid-year. So that way at the end of the year I'm not, I don't have a lot of expense to clean, I mean to clean, to, I don't have a lot of expense to fork out two lots of um, big planners at the end of the year. I'll have at least, well it won't be the end of the year, I usually have to put them on order around August, so I'll have like a month before I, I buy another planner. So then, what I'm going to do now is I will put these little headers down up here for important. Drop down all my important things. Stick those down here. I absolutely love how I have the peace and peaceful quiet. I love no sound when my, well, apart from when I watch TV or something when my toddler's asleep, but um, some people love this, love listening to music and don't love silence i love silence i am seriously a huge sucker for silence because i always have so much noise in the home it when i have when i'm able to have silence that's just ah, <laughs> so awesome so when my toddler's asleep the tv goes off until i'm ready to watch something usually when i'm eating my lunch but goes off and I just enjoy those um, that small time of relax and just do what I need to do and not have to worry about um, noise and things like that so I always have children running around screaming yelling fighting talking Never a dull moment in our home, which I absolutely love. It certainly meant when we were in isolation that it was never boring. <laughs> we always had, even though the kids said that they were bored, it they really weren't. They always had something to do. So we stick the um, little tracket and this. Little um, checklist down here. Do you know what? Put the ones down here. Not 
いよね。触る人もね。I cleaned up my um my desk multiple times through when we were in um when the kids were home and I said because it just ended up as a dumping area. I cleaned it up and I'm like, okay, I can start planning this week. And then the end of the week came and I didn't start planning again. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, I'll do it next week. And then I made sure my desk is all clean, ready for next week, and then um It didn't happen again. <laughs> so when the kids went back to school that first week, we had, it was a massively huge week. Um, thank goodness they were at school um, because we had a house inspection. We, um, on the Tuesday, my mum came up on the, no, it was the, my, it was on the, my Nana Pop came over the weekend before. Then on the Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, we had a house inspection. On Wednesday night, my mum came. Then um, she left on Friday. Then my brother and his fiance and their beautiful little girl came to visit. And it was just a jam-packed week. And it was so lovely last week where I could just go ah. and then my mum messaged me and said I'm coming up again to visit because she couldn't come and visit for such a long period because um she lives at the Gold Coast so the kids hadn't seen her for months so everybody missed her so that when they so when she was able to travel again they were all so excited so she's coming up again this weekend but this time it's going to be a surprise for the children so it'll be really nice So now I'm going to use some of these um, deco stickers, but I also want to pop down um, some other little things as well. I always go shopping. I'll put down the shopping on Friday because we always I always go shopping on Friday. Then I'm going to pop the weekend Bella down. I'm going to use the, the purpley one this week. Purple one this week. beautifully in the middle here like so perfect and then I'm going to use this gorgeous planner and put this up actually no, I'm going to leave that there I'm going to put the So I'll pop the planner down there because I always like to catch up on my planning and things like that on Monday. Then I'll do this cute little planner girl. I love the purple hair. So I'm going to pop her here. I'm gonna have washi. Yeah. Cute little little glasses there. Then little Instagram sign down the bottom here do that at the end actually perfect 
so cute. I'll pop this back down and I'll use that one for the next week. So now what I'm going to actually do is do the deco boxes. So what I'll do is I've got a plan and I'm going to do, um, I'm going to have some, so how many we've got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Okay, so what I'll do is I'm going to mix it up a bit because I do my cleaning on the Friday. So I'll use the zone cleaning one on the Friday. But before I do that, I might actually stick this one at the top now. Do the side banner first. This one up here so that way I can mark when I do a sticker order. I might do it on the bottom. And I'll pop these down here in case there's any event events that I need to mark down, which there is slowly starting to be more now since. Everything's starting to go back to normal. I'll pop down this little strip here. And use this gorgeous little washi strip just separate that a little bit so gorgeous so cute Up here, and then I'm going to use that section there for my habit tracker because I'm going to track my vitamins. Actually, I'm going to take this strip up because I don't even need it there to fit in this first. This could be pretty much no space there. A tiny little gap. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So now I've got three strips for next week. There we go. Love it. Love it. Love it. Looks amazing. So now I'm going to pop down um, the zone clean on Friday because I always do my big clean on Friday. Perfect. Then I'm going to do meal we meal we we meal plan actually we meal plan on um Saturday mornings because that's when we do our grocery shopping for the week. So I usually meal plan on a Saturday morning, so I'm gonna do that there. I've got some really cute stickers. Being unique. Yeah. 
and on I'll pop a time to plan on Sunday. So I just have to have time to plan if I can on Sunday. Sunday and Monday are my two days to I like to do it. And then we have Actually, I'll put down top goals. I'll actually put top goals down on Monday because that way I can write my top goals for the week and what I actually want to do. Put that down there. Then we will both put be unique on Tuesday. Then Wednesday and Thursday, I'll put down all the pretty things and then believe in me pop her down here Wonderful. This kit is so cute. Love it, love it, love it. Now I've got space to pop down the bottom here. That be kind of studio. Pop it down there. And then I'm going to pop down. it up a little bit because I've got a crooked eye there we go then I'm going to put down Instagram I'll just send you there perfect And then I'll put a reminder to post Instagram. Actually, I'm going to take this up from here and I'm going to use this as a reminder for myself. Use that reminder for myself. I'm going to pop this one here to remind me to post on Instagram. Then I'll edit the video and post it on Tuesday and yeah it's done then I'm going to use some of these oh hang on a moment I forgot bin day which is on Monday can't forget bin day that there and then we've got I just like to do a lot of washing on the Wednesday so we'll put washing on hang up washing on Wednesday these are so super cute by the way There we go. Now I have enough gorgeousness for the following week. And on Saturdays, we always like to do things as a family. So I'm going to pop this little combi van there because we always go somewhere as a family on that day. So I'm going to pop it on. Sunday because on Saturday I'll be doing grocery shopping this week so
I'll pop a shopping bag down there instead. There we go, perfect. Love it. So I've got a lot of goodness for next week. So now, but first, before I go into the um, next, um, before I finish, I'll stick down these date dots here. So now I'll just put my, what colour pen do you think I should use this week? I think a nice blue would go really nice. Use this blue. Whoops. I've got awesome, I've got enough stickers now for a whole nother week next week, which I'm super duper excited about. Wish me luck for my, uh, for my application that I submitted for uh, um, Pretty Planner Studio. And I hope you have a lovely week. Bye.